Hey guys, Steve Watcher, Bima Toyota in Nashville. Had a great question that I'm going to answer for you. So, um, what the question was is they were driving down the road and the volume on the radio is adjusting, and they're, I guess, it's not adjusting for their ears the way they want it to. So, there's actually something in the new cars called a automatic sound levelizer, and it's actually it's been in Toyotas for a while. So, um, it's going to be very similar to get there to the same way that I'm going to show you on this. This is a uh, uh, 21 Highlander that I'm in right now. Um, this is the small screen. I'll kind of give you a peek at it here. This is the small screen in the 21 Highlander. It also has the 12.3 that you can have it. But the way that you get to this is the same, whether it's a Camry, a Corolla, a Highlander, a Forerunner. It's going to be the same thing. All right. So what you're going to do here is you can always check your, this is your home screen. Let me back this back up. So this is your home screen. Now this one's got your audio over here now depending on where you're at maybe you can put the audio here somewhere else but this button right here if you have the 12 3 your buttons are on the bottom but also Venz is the same by the way but you hit this button and you get to your uh, audio menu you'll see your source presets this is your replay for your Sirius satellite um, but come down here to sound when you hit sound you can see that you can do your faders you can move your you know your treble your bass you know um, and your mids right you go to your fader you can actually go to the front to the rear but here's what i want to show you automatic sound levelizer so you can see high mid low or off all right so if you have it on you know one of those you'll be able to notice a difference so what's it do glad you asked the question um <laughs> so what it does is as you go faster and faster your radio will actually go up in volume uh, reason being is it's going to compensate for things like road noise. So if you find that either the low, the mid, or the high, it's more common that at a highway speed, the volume sounds the same as it does when you're sitting at a stoplight, you're going to be on the right level for you. If you don't like it turning itself up some as you're going, put that bad boy to off, right? If you like it to go a lot different because you like to drive with the windows down, there you go. You're going to go to your high with, you know, if you're going to do your windows down, you're going to go to the high. You just are. All right. But usually if you keep your windows up, your road noise, um, things like that that come into play, low is probably going to be where you want to end up. So, um, like I said, it's a, it's a cool system. Um, it's actually in, in some aspect, it's probably in about every manufacturer. It's just called different things. Um, but it all does the same stuff. So it's going to, um, it's, it's going to raise the volume of your radio slightly or more or more, depending on how high you have that set, but it's going to raise that, uh, that level of your, uh, radio so that you can better hear the music, uh, your podcast, whatever you were, uh, listening to. So it does not matter what source you're on. So if you are listening to Bluetooth or if you are listening to something like that, it does not matter what source you're on. It's going to automatically adjust that volume the same way. Now I will mention, just because I'm thinking about it, when you go to a Bluetooth source, if you notice that your volume on Bluetooth is much less than everything else, there's a trick to that. Turn your phone up. So anytime you're on Bluetooth, you have to turn your phone up and most phones have a safety feature that they figure you're gonna have it in your ears on your Bluetooth. They don't want to blow your ears out. So a lot of times when you switch to Bluetooth, it, or if your phone's restarted uh, recently or things like that, you're going to notice that that volume is set to a spot that is good for headphones. So you probably have to hit your up button. I know on my phone I have to hit it and it says listening to music at sound or at high volumes can damage your hearing. It, it's going to assume you have earbuds in. Go into the car, it still assumes you have earbuds in. So once you turn it up, hit that OK, turn that all the way up and then you're going to have the volume work the same way as it would um, listening to a radio station, listening to, uh, you know, from the USB, things like that. Those are all going to be um, about the same volume, give or take, right? Um, but hopefully that helps you guys out. Steve Watch Beam Toyota in Nashville, uh, showing you your automatic sound levelizer and what it does. Um, I'm not going to give you guys a uh, demonstration of it because YouTube with the uh, copyrights, uh, whatever song's playing, I would be breaking a copyright. So I am not going to do that. I'm not going to play it for you, but you'll know how to work it. You'll know what it is. And when you listen to the, the songs, uh, you'll know how those go too. So Steve Watch, Toyota in downtown Nashville. Definitely like, subscribe. Appreciate one of you guys.
guys. I, I love it watching uh, the views cut, click up there and uh, definitely subscribers click up. I look at every one of you guys. I appreciate it. If you have any comments or uh, uh, have any questions, definitely put them in the comment section. I'm going to answer those. I answer most of those. But Steve Watch from Beam and Toyota in downtown Nashville. Um, hope you guys have a great day. I look forward to uh, being your salesman. If you want to come in here, buy a car from me, love to have that happen too. Um, and definitely ask for me if you come down to the dealership here. I'm here most days. So um, if I'm not, they know how to get a hold of me. Steve Watts, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. Uh, hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later.